I knew a couple other people were invited. Lieutenant Colonel Blades is, is in the building. He's had something else to take care of, and I've not heard from Mr. Rutt, but it's 7.30, so, so what can we do for you? This started with, you know, I'm not good with names. Mr. What's your six-hour teacher's name? Reader. It's Mr. Reader. All right. So this started out on the very first day, and Kaylee came home and said that he was making comments that made her feel uncomfortable. Fine, whatever, it happens. A mother had made a post on Casa Grand Chat and I had made a post about you in particular making inappropriate comments. Didn't use your name though, but just said you were making inappropriate comments and making the children feel uncomfortable. As the time goes on, I keep hearing these stories about how you're losing your temper with the kids, that you kicked a chair because a child named Joseph didn't do what you asked the minute you asked him to do it, that you're calling her a bonehead, telling her she's thick-headed, and that she why doesn't she get it through her head right before you call security, that you're calling security on multiple children, that several children have come to the office to file complaints against you, and she's gone to the office to file multiple complaints against you. So instead of listening to whatever back and forth about this and that because I'm not here I said just move out of the class I don't know if it's your problem I don't know if it's her problem but clearly something's not working as far as the education and getting her to where she needs to be she tells me that you're grading things obscurely and so we've tried every other route I've asked you to move her out of your class you haven't done that you didn't respond to emails. I've never received an email from you stating that there was ever an issue with her, ever. You, like, don't let her go to the bathroom, however you send her to the library. Then I get this notice that she's in school suspension because she's not where you sent her to. But that isn't the conversation that was actually had because I actually listened to the conversation that was had. So now we got this other guy that's the counselor who's not here telling me, oh, this is what happened, blah, 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 when I know for a fact that isn't the conversation that was had. So now you're basically stating that she's like having trouble in your class, that, you do, that she's gone for multiple long times, but you'll send her to one place, but not the other. Oh, you can't go to the bathroom, but you well, can you go to the library. Well, you my side of the story. Now you're telling me what I've said. He asked me what's going on. So, yeah, I've explained my side. Do you have anyone responded or talked to you? Okay, go ahead and tell them what, I, what I've said. What I've done. I didn't Is it? say that you said that. I said the other counselor said that. Right? Well, I'm just really disappointed before you were posting comments or something that you just didn't talk to the teacher and listen to the teacher's side of the story. I said a teacher made an inappropriate comment. Well, before you... All these things, all these, uh, I don't even know where to start with all these things that you're saying. Uh, kicked a chair over. Um, I don't recall kicking the chair over. What was the next one after that? that you said that supposedly I did. Call, she, said, she said you called someone a bonehead. No, I never called headed. you a bonehead. Never called anybody a bonehead. You can ask anyone in that class. You never did. called anybody a bonehead. Never. Not once. Never okay. called anybody a bonehead. We <laughs> called the security on her one time. Not multiple times, one time. But when we look at these things and we're going through them, I sent you an email into which you did not respond. That's because Mr. Dragolay doesn't want to move her. I talked to Mr. Dragolay. Okay, I but that does not counselor. have anything to do with you contacting me as a parent saying, hey, you know, we're having a problem here. Then I could take that up with Mr. Tregley, but you didn't, you just ignored my emails. You didn't contact me and say we're having a problem with the education. Let her, let her finish. Then how come the other guy said twice? She's been sent to the you... office twice for in your class for the behavior. second time she asked to go to the bathroom. There was 35 minutes left in class. She has a bleeding disorder called on Willenbrand factor. Do you want me to go get the medical records? No, that's okay. But she she left class coach. and never came back. 35 minutes before class left. Okay. It was over. Just left. 
but that's not. Not a word. You know. Do you want me to get the recording out? Because no, what no, he had okay. said was, she has to go to the bathroom. You denied her. Is that correct? No, that's not right. She, I said, go ahead. You're, you're, you're clear to go to the bathroom. She left and went, went to the bathroom 35 minutes before. Okay, so I have the recording. That was the second one. I have the recording. Of? Of the guy saying that she was told no to the bathroom. You're talking about Mr. Rutt? When yes. You the recording and and that she went to the library. He was going to pull the cameras off the soda machine to see that she went there. That she got ISS for that because she wasn't where she was supposed to be. Because you denied her the bathroom. So it's clearly on tape. Well, we need to get Mr. Rutt's side of that because if, if Mr. Rutt is saying Well, Mr. Rutt wasn't in my classroom, but I allowed her to go to the bathroom. Well, and I don't know how she ended up at the library. There was never, it was, can I, may I go to the bathroom? Yes, she can. So she left class and what, without permission, ended up down the library here for a minute and then a minute and a half and then left the library. So how did Mr. Rock get an entirely different story? Here, here's I don't know. I know that he wasn't in my classroom. I don't know. Maybe they've got a recorder in the classroom. Okay. Well, they okay, do Mr. Rutt's getting his, something coming up. So what did Mr. Rutt do? Um, can you please verify the conversation that you and I had, basically what you told me in regards to Kaylee going to the library? Well, she was, the conversation we had was that she was told by the teacher to go to the restroom. She was going to the restroom. Well, I actually recorded this. Recorded it, so yeah, that's not what you said. So it's not what was said, she though. She was going to the restroom. She said she went to the library. Okay, so I said I'll get the video just to see what she did, and she said no, she didn't go to the library. You said I did go to the library, but I saw um, what's her face? I saw someone outside that I needed to ask about the project, so I did go to the library, but I left for a second to talk to her, and then I went back in. And went to the, but you were told to go to the restroom, not the library. She asked for permission to go to the restroom. Yeah. She was given permission. She left 35 minutes before class, never came back, not a word. This is the first time that I've known she has a physical a health issue going on. What disturbs me is like yesterday, the day before this meeting, she's got her headphones in class and her phone out, hiding behind books on her phone I wasn't. with her headphones. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. You sure were. Okay, well that's okay, but this is the okay. day before a meeting. She didn't do the assignment yesterday. She didn't do the previous assignment. Now you're two strikes down. You've got two assignments down. You're in my class. How many times do you have to be asked? How many times do you have to be told? So no cell phones, no headphones in so class. So she's been punished for those things. And she's got them under her hair. She's hiding them. I see it. My hair was up yesterday. I. So, anyways, I'm I'm really concerned. You know, you know, not listening, not following directions. She was allowed to leave class five minutes early to catch her bus. She walks out yesterday so, ten minutes early before class. Why did we? Complete why did none of the people in this room get an email regarding any of these things? Why this are you not reporting? Yesterday. This just happened yesterday. Okay, well, it takes three seconds to write an email. And this has been going on since the first day of school, and you haven't written an email to not anyone. I've talked to Mr. The way we try to handle certain levels of discipline is we ask, and our plan is this, and it usually works. If there's disruption in the class, the teacher can't get it handled pretty quickly without disrupting the entire teaching section, what he's doing with all the... We ask security to go to the room. We ask security to visit with the student, and if the security can get the student to agree to do whatever, then they go back in the classroom. We usually don't even write that down in the student's log entries because we're allowing high school students to take care of themselves, which is what they need to do. And then there's a certain level where we leave it just with the teacher, the teacher and the, and a lot of times teachers have interactions with students about things that they don't report to anyone because their, their high school students are going to learn to take care of themselves. So that's the way we handle that. When so security we, came, can you tell them how that went for you? When security came that day? They came and got me, and then they walked into the office. So it, it, was, it wasn't a conversation about what happened, then she was sent back to yeah. class. So when security feels like they're not going to be able to have a, a positive interaction with the student, we bring them to the office. So was security must any, have felt like it was, was not going to be positive. Was there any argument about that? Was it written down? No, and it wouldn't be. And would not you like to hear my side of the story? What happened? Well, your side of the stories are wrong. That's not what happened at all. And if there's five students filing a complaint, that's a huge problem. Well, let's listen to Mr. Reader's side of the story. 
she had her headphones on under her hair and I couldn't see them. I didn't know that, but she had her phone out. And I asked her three times to put the phone away. You just told three, me that you could excuse see me, them under can her I, hair. Can I just finish, please? You just said that. You I just asked said her you could hear it, see it under her hair. Just, asked, saying, just saying, we're not. you asked him not to interrupt you, I'm going to ask you not to interrupt him. Three times I asked her to put her phone away. She couldn't hear me because she had her headphones on. You just said you couldn't see them, so you could see them or you couldn't see them. When I walked over and stood next to her, I could see them. Then I found out after asking her three times to put the phone, to put her cell phone away. Nothing. Not even a look. Nothing. Because she had her headphones on. She couldn't hear me. But at any rate... So I didn't know that. I had already called security. They came. They took her away. So you only called security once, but now you're telling me you called security twice. Then this you told me you heard, saw headphones, incident. but then you didn't. It's the same incident, you know. No, it wasn't. That's not why you called security. That's true. That if that time. was yesterday and you called okay, security, this was then that this was several was just... weeks ago that you called security and had her removed from the class. So that's not a true statement either. One time she had her headphones on. I told her to put it away, to put her phone away. She was on her headphones, okay? What you said was that yesterday, was right? I'm sorry? What you said was yesterday, right? No. no. You just said it was yesterday that she wasn't listening to you, that she was sitting in your class, that she was holding her phone, that she had this her hair was, down. This was the same she's thing. hiding this, behind a book. She did the same thing, but these are different days. Yesterday she did it again. Yesterday she's in there, so then has her headphones on, twice. on her phone, not doing the work. So then you the called day before twice. our meeting. The day before our meeting. I didn't call security yesterday. You just said that. I didn't call. This just happened, ma'am. No. This was six period yesterday. Okay. okay, that was weeks ago. The other incident you're talking about was weeks and weeks ago. Right. And okay. so Two incidents where she had her cell phone out and her headphones on. And you never bothered to ask why I would send you an email to remove her from your class. You never responded. No one from the school responded. You sent me one email you that said, I, you've got to get her out of my class. I'm not going to talk to you about it. I talked to Mr. Trigger. Why would I? Because everything becomes an argument. Okay. So at this point... Well, when she can't listen and follow the rules and put her cell phone and her headphones away and listen, pay attention to her assignment, there okay. wouldn't be any issue. There wouldn't be any problem. So when I had a problem with her, I contacted you. I contacted you, and I contacted you. You requested that she be taken out of my class. Right. So I, I made Mr. three points of contact with the school when there was trouble, and you made... I talked to Mr. Trigley, and he said he wasn't going to remove her. Okay, but that does not have to do with three points of contact when I'm saying, hey, there's okay, well, a problem, and no one's looking into it. No, we were looking into it. Okay, so what's the result? The result is that she needs to behave in class and follow his directions, and so, she's not getting out of the class. You're still not going to... So when she's saying she feels uncomfortable since day one and that she's being harassed... She's not that, being harassed. But you can't prove that because you're not in his class. You can't prove it because you're not in his class. But she's saying that she feels that she's being harassed, and, and that's saying, enough. And he's saying he's not harassing her. He hasn't talked to her. Okay, so Except it's his word against her. Except when she misbehaves. And when she misbehaves, he has to talk to her. When she has Was her she misbehaving on, the first day? She's been talking without permission. That's why I originally split her up. That's not what I asked. Group. As the first day, yeah, she misbehaved. She didn't follow classroom rules. It says no you remember from two months ago on. and all your classes, do you remember her specifically from that day? The first, from the very first day of school. Mm -hmm. I remember that particular table with her and Harley and Madeline and Joseph sitting together talking. Why do you feel that so many kids are filing complaints against you? Well, this See, is the first time that matter I've been, any, In this conversation, it doesn't matter what any other kids are It doing. is, because um, if the there's a majority of the kids saying there's a problem and the school's not addressing that there is a problem. But we've talked to more kids than you know about, that you will never know about. I don't care. Okay, so it doesn't matter about it. So kids. then you should address the issue if there's an issue, which clearly and there's an issue. The issue is that she needs to follow directions in class, not leave class early. If she is, does happen to get permission to go to the bathroom, and if she has a medical issue, we need to know about it. And it would be happening in, probably in more than one class. But she doesn't need to leave early for her bus. She doesn't need to go to the library. She doesn't need to come well, down why would here. She, why would she just say, okay, leave, and just say, not well, say, that, We've addressed no. that. We've addressed that. So what's, your, what's going to be your answer from now on about her leaving early? No, sir. No, ma'am. Can't leave early. Have to stay until the bell rings. Why do you feel that you're the only teacher that's having a problem with her? Isn't she failing a class or English class? No. Pull up power school. Yeah. That, nope. You're the only one. Mm -hmm. my grades and we'll go up to a C. 
It's because she wasn't here yesterday, so she couldn't fix it. Well, when I talked to her, she said she, she wasn't passing English. So apparently, you never I'm talked not the to me only, about passing English. Apparently, I'm not the only teacher that she's not doing well with. Maybe that changed since I talked to the so, teacher. So the situation, that I'm hearing him say, if she didn't have her headphones on and she wasn't talking out of turn, that they wouldn't be a problem anyway. So she can she can correct those things. Okay, but my problem is with him. If she's not safe in his class, she doesn't feel he's safe. If there are other children reporting that he is kicking chairs out of anger, any one of us would lose our job. If this was a house, he'd be taken off to jail. If this was the workplace and he was my peer, he'd be fired. So these things are happening. You think she's just, these things are just magically coming out of nowhere? Oh, well, well uh, you don't know how many students we've talked to about these situations. You don't know what information we've got from any other students. You're taking the word of some students that may be upset or angry because maybe they were something happened maybe to they them were that, moved that they didn't like. Because they couldn't sit next to each other because they Again, you are the only the teacher having this issue. Oh, really? In the whole school? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will go See, ask look her. See, he's already aggressive. Well, in the whole school, I'm the only teacher that has. See, a his attitude is already that. aggressive. I, I don't see that. That's an attitude. He's asking you that she's the only one. I will ask the other teachers if she is following their directions. If she's using their headphones. He's he's a teacher mm -hmm. that's in and, one of her classes yeah, that has her for and it's a, a different, time. Uh, and it's a different type of class. But if she's mean, misbehaving in one, she can misbehave in them all. She could, yeah. So is that the experience that you're having with her? <laughs> Well, again, I'm, I can only speak for Jared DC, and, and no, that's there's fine. no issues at all. Have any other teachers approached you about her behavior in any of their classes, about any issues with any, her in any of the classes? Are you finding that she's a disciplinary issue in any other of your classes or with any other teacher? No, again, this is until the other day when she approached me. That was it. One time I heard. Can you do me a favor and put your phone away? I asked her to take yeah, it out so she can look at her grades. Oh, 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 and she's okay, on I'm power sorry. school. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Which is one because point you accuse her of no, failing every class, class but yours. I just heard that she wasn't passing her English class. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. That's fine. Okay. I just thought she wasn't paying attention. Perfect example. Well, I, I just thought she should be listening and paying attention while we're talking. But this is a perfect example. But in the classroom. The only way a student can use their phone in the classroom is if the teacher gives them specific permission to use the phone. And if they Fine. don't, then they're in violation. And we ask each teacher to handle it how they feel like they should handle it. And that's up to him how he handles it. But he just got angry with her about being on a cell phone when I just asked her to look it up. Well, it's, I and guess it's been like almost an everyday thing. But when I walked into yesterday, So why don't you make a rule addressing that? There is a rule. Okay, find me one other teacher that's having this kind of issue that, with That Kaylee. doesn't matter what other teachers or other the, students. It is, other because he's the only one having an issue. You know, every time I issue. go into a, a classroom, people, <clears throat> kids are hiding with their cell phones. You, you, know, don't, you think my classroom's the only yeah. classroom? No. The kids are using a cell phone? Yeah, no, not, I think you're the only one having an issue like this. Mm. Okay. Well, again, teachers can decide in their room. We ask them not to do it. I will go back with all of her other teachers and I will ask them specifically what their rules are and what they're enforcing in the classroom and if they're not enforcing the what we ask the teachers to do I will I will address that with each of her teachers that's fine okay. but clearly we have a teacher right here that's saying that there's not an issue well, we have one I've teacher. gone to him because obviously he means something you know like mm -hmm. yeah he, he does a good job he's a good teacher. and we appreciate he's the gonna work get he does kicked out of her class and so he's going to be the first one to know because everyone's going to go to him and say, hey, Dom, I'm having this problem. She'll get kicked out of JRTC, and that's going to look bad. And so that's where I'm kind of having my problem because I've met with you before. Mm -hmm. I met with you last year where you told me I was a terrible mother because... Yeah. And that's not what I said, and you're taking that out of context. It is absolutely what you said. You're spreading lies about what I said because that is not you what I said. You threatened to sue me because I got a call from one of your teachers that was belligerent. You threatened to sue me. No. You want to take that out of context? I didn't threaten to sue anyone. I don't sue people. You did. I don't need to sue people. You said, I'm going to sue you for making those comments. No. You see, this is why we can't get anything accomplished. Yeah. You're right. We don't get things accomplished very much. Because and that's why I have her record these conversations, okay. because what he said was different. He said, young lady, why are you in my office? You gonna tell me I'm a liar for this? Young lady, why are you in my office? He breaks into the conversation and says, hey, can you check this? A package got delivered, blah, blah, blah. And can you check the cameras that's on the soda machine that's outside the office? 
Then he breaks back to the conversation where he states that she was told no to go to the bathroom, but yes to go to the library. She then states to him, he goes, did you leave the library at any time? She said, yes, I went to go talk to Azul or... How was it? Thank you. About a project, and I returned. That was the conversation was had. And then he said, were you supposed to go talk to that student? And she said, no. Then he gets back on the thing and says, forget that, don't don't look at the cameras. What? So what does that mean? She, she admitted to lying. So she said so she I walked out of the... She well, no, no, no. Lying. She told me a story. Mm. See, the problem that you got here is this. See? Listen. Here we go. Anger issues Listen, again. Mom. Listen, Listen, Mom. Anger issues. Listen, Mom. <laughs> I don't know what that is then. Okay. Here, here's the frustration part for all of us. Okay. I've met with your daughter several times. Not just once, several times. You told times. me twice okay. on the phone. Several times we've met. Okay. And what we've talked about, not only in, the cl in my office, but walking in the hallway at the game, at the assembly, things like that. Talking to her about, this is how what you need to do. In life, we don't always get along with everybody we have in our classroom, a teacher we have. You have to learn to adapt to whatever situation you're in, okay? But there's no situation here that is saying, Mr. Reader's done something wrong to her. He's not picking on her, he's not isolating her, he's not attacking her, all right? There's no situation whatsoever in that at all. She took a situation where she was allowed to go to the restroom and took it, went from the restroom to the library, left the library, and went and met with some people. Yeah, that's the end of why I need to look at any video. There's nothing video to show that she didn't do what she was supposed to do, number one. But that's not the And number two is, you're trying to make something here a story that she's admitted that she didn't go where she's supposed to go and went someplace else, and you're trying to turn around and somebody's picking on her? No. The teachers. That's not what was said at all. You said. I know. Because I, I called you, you because I got a. I said, and I you just had told a, you. How did I get the situation if you were the only one I talked to? I'm trying to figure out what you just told me what I said, which is what I said. I asked her, did you, you said, go to the library? Well, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to watch on video. Well, I left for a little bit. That's not what was said. That is what's said. You said, did you leave? She said, I talked to Azul or whatever that kid's name is. And she said, I went back to the library. And then that's when you got it is it's Again, on video you're you're trying to take everything out of context you're trying to take everything to go oh no she's been picked on she's not being no picked on, she's been she's punished, punished at home she is right. been punished i take her cell phone away she's been grounded she has to sit next to me she has to do all of her homework so she is being punished i'm not Very saying good. poor kaylee she's not a bad kid I know she doesn't do her homework. I'll be the first one to tell you. I don't live on planet Mars. Like, I get it. She doesn't do her homework, and she has been punished. But when your story doesn't match the story you told me, that is a problem. Your stories match it exactly. You said you said. talked to him about going to the library. She was denied going to the bathroom, and she went to the library. My security guard went and talked to see if he went to the library or if she was told to go to the restroom. She was told to go to the restroom. You never talked library. to me about a security guard. I didn't actually know there was a security guard until I got... The recording. Again, ma'am, you see, what's one of your characteristics that you like out of people? Do you like where they tell a lie? Well, no. first it was, no, I no, wouldn't let her go to the bathroom. No, no, first it was, I wouldn't let her go to the That's not true. Don't worry about it. You don't need okay. to. So, again, one of the characteristics that I know that he has over here in RTC is be honest, be truthful. Be and was honest, she not, all the time. did she, when you asked the question, did she say no? She first told me she went to the library. He told her he'd go to the library. She was told to go to the restroom, not the library. And then she went to the library, okay, supposedly. I said, well, I'll get it on the video, and I'll check the video and see where she went. And that's where she came on goes, you know, no, I left. I went here. No, I it went didn't. You asked her if she left. Yes. You said you went to the teacher and asked, and he said no to the bathroom. That was the direction you gave me. Then you said she went yes. to the library. Okay, yes. Well, see, again, ma'am, you're yes. taking so things. So you wouldn't talk to, you had see, the security guard talk to him, and now you're saying fact. now she's going to the bathroom at the library versus... No, that's not what happened. See, it's in the story is changing. No, your story is you're trying to adapt it to make your needs look good. My okay, needs. that's your needs My right need. now. Your I had one conversation with child. you, and I had one conversation on okay. the phone. Okay. See, well, again, you're taking My a situation needs. that you know she just admitted that she lied to all of us, and I've heard that. Okay, I lied to all of us, and now you're trying to lied take it to and turn all it of around. You. She told you that after after I threatened to look on the video, but you. After, 
I also stated that you talked to him before you brought her in the office. I, I wrote him a letter yeah. and told him. Okay. Well, happened. guys, we, we, we're going around and around yeah. the same thing, trying to hit it at different angles. The thing exactly. is, is she didn't do what she was supposed to. She needed to be an ISD. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. If she's not be paying attention in class, Mr. Reader has a responsibility to ask her to pay attention. If she has her headphones on in class, he has a responsibility to deal with that. So now that we've dealt with that part of it a lot, I'm not going to leave the headphones up to him anymore. If he sees them, it's going to be we'll come to Mr. Rudd. He's addressed her leaving yeah. class to go get to the bus. I asked him, told him directly, he cannot do that. She got up on her own and left yesterday. We haven't addressed that till now because he just reported it this morning. She's not allowed to leave class early without permission, and he's not going to give her permission. If she needs to go to the restroom for any unusual circumstance, we do need doctor, some medical, something on that. If it's some kind of, of, of something you different than that's just a HIPAA normal. violation, right? Do what? You understand that's a HIPAA violation, right? No, it's not. Mm, it is. No, because you're asking us to do something outside of our rules, and we need some medical document. We get medical documentation in the right. office so if all the time. I'm a mother, and I enroll my child. I see my kid's got asthma. Do you ask for medical documentation? It depends on what the asthma may lead to. Sometimes we do, yes. Okay. I don't believe you because that's against the law, but okay. No, it's not against the law. It is. No. To ask for medical document, you can't, if a woman comes into the grocery store and it was posted on Castle Grand Chat this morning about a woman that walks in with her dog and the manager knew the ADA rules, you can't actually ask that woman for documentation because that's a violation. Okay. That's in the grocery store. Okay. Medical is the same way. I can't yeah. give you medical labs or your medical okay. information without verifying you are who you say you are. So then if we don't have any medical documentation that she has something that she needs to go to the restroom, then she is not going to be allowed to go to the restroom. All right. Well, we'll call Ashley okay. and we'll get it done. Okay. Okay. So are we, are we where we need to be on her following the rules and doing the things she's supposed to do at school? If she's on her phone, fine. If she is on her headphones, I want them confiscated and then returned to me. That way, it's not he said, she said, he said, she said. I don't want to play that game. I'm not playing that game. I'm two weeks from giving birth. I don't really give a rat's behind what the problem is here. I know I've had this problem with this school before. I know there are multiple problems with the school because everyone's getting a Casa Grand chat and talking about it. I know there's a problem. And you guys are not addressing it. I've multiple times gone to the superintendent, who apparently is buddies, so I've been told. And we're still drawing with the issue that she feels uncomfortable in this class. He is the only teacher that is having this problem. If you've been investigating this for months and he's been investigating it, then there's no reason you can't come to me and say, no, she's had problems with these other teachers. I've investigated it since she turned in the report someday last week. Whatever day last week, I talked to her, but I had talked with some other students just before that. Okay, so we should have already come to a conclusion at that point that she's having these problems with other teachers. Okay. Don't, don't know about other teachers. And to be today. honest, in all years, I've heard her not doing her homework. I believe that 100%. I, if she's not doing her homework, I'll be the first one to raise my hands. Oh, yeah. But he did tell me that she did an extra credit something the other day and did a real good job on it. I don't, I, I don't care, to be honest with you. I've never in all the years that Kaylee's found herself in these godforsaken issues, have I ever heard her complain about a teacher making inappropriate comments? Have I heard about her having a teacher that kicked chairs? Have I heard a teacher that's singling her out or causing her to feel uncomfortable? Ever. And I'll be the first to admit, Kaylee's always in a pickle somewhere, but we just have bad luck. That's how that junk goes. But. Never have I heard in all the years that she has a complaint against this one teacher starting on the very first day. The very first day I hear about making inappropriate comments. Obviously, he look at his face. That tells you that that's already right there, an aggressive stance, like, yeah, whatever. I mean, I mean, this is, this is, I mean, you can clearly see it. He's got an issue, and I don't care what it is, and I don't want it to be addressed, and I don't care but you're threatening to fail her because she feels uncomfortable in his class. No, I'm not threatening to fail her. I'm not changing her schedule. Because he makes her feel uncomfortable. At least the semester time. So that's harass, harassment and bullying. So that's what we're doing here. 
and you're not willing to address the fact that multiple complaints have been filed that she doesn't feel comfortable in this class. She needs to adapt to his teaching and so, so she you're needs to stay there. condoning bullying and harassment. I don't see it as bullying and harassment. If a woman says she doesn't feel comfortable in a situation, she has the right to leave a situation, as do you. You say, I don't feel comfortable in a situation, you have all the power in the world to get up and leave. And no one can restrain you because that's against the law. Okay. So, but you're, uh, you're imposing that will on a child. She's in that class and she's going to be in that class, yes. Well, I don't want her in that class anymore. Clearly, there's an issue here. I don't think there's an issue with anyone but her. I, she can correct that. Okay, but out of five other teachers, no one's having the same problem. Out of the 10 years she's been in school, no other teachers had this problem. I don't know about 10 years in school. Well, she's been here for two. We can go back to Mr. Lavender and ask if he's ever had that issue with her. I mean, you have a record. You, right? Th things change. Things move. That's it's different. Could be different. So he's the day. only one out of ten years. Don't know about that. It doesn't matter today. It does matter today because she's saying she's being harassed. She's put it in writing, and you're refusing to address the issue of being you, harassed. I don't know what I've addressed and what I haven't addressed. Well, she's still in the class, mm -hmm. and if, if someone's being harassed, they usually get moved. They don't. Not here. They don't. They do. No. They do. It is. It's okay. the law. So we've had this conversation several times. Did you have anything new to talk about? I want her out of his class. She's not getting out of the class. Do you have anything else to talk about? Well, let's address the way he's grading her papers then. So what's, the, what's the deal about grading the papers? Your grades aren't coming up as fast because he's grading them inappropriately or wrongly. He was putting in the late assignments as extra credit. I was doing what? Putting in the late assignments as extra credit. And that's up to teachers how they have No, what um, students that do, uh, that miss assignments, they're allowed to do extra credit, and I put that into the ongoing extra credit. So what are we going to do about the situation? If he is, if this continues, you're just going to allow this, uh, this to continue? I need to know if it continues. And then you're going to do what? What is the plan from here? I need to know if it continues, then we'll see what it is. But if I change her classes based on her wanting out of the class, she will get a F in the class she leaves and a no credit in the class she goes into. She's not even getting a grade right now. And for the last six years, you guys have passed her when she's gotten Fs. Go check her eighth grade graduation. She had three Fs and they passed her. I'm sorry the eighth grade did that, but we have nothing to do with the You eighth accepted grade. her. <laughs> if, the, if the eighth grade gives a, a graduation, a promotion, certificate we accept them so if you're not going to do anything just tell me you're not going to do anything and i want to be notified when there's an issue period and i feel it because we've gotten this far i deserve that and if her phone is out and if her headphones are out take them from her well i will ask security well, I don't jesus like it. I will call it's like common I don't like, sense uh, well it's not common sense it's it common is common sense. sense common sense is that we ask a high school student to put their headphones away and they put their headphones away that's common sense Common sense is if there's an issue, you contact the parent. Not when it high. is. It depends on the level of the issue. On these low level issues, the students need to learn how to take low care level. of themselves. She's skipping out of class, and that's low level. No. When we learned that she skipped out of class, you got you, Mr. Rudd dealt with it, and you heard about it. And I will call you. And we just heard about the he one didn't. yesterday. He didn't. And he, he didn't the last time either. I had to find out with a generic letter that was sent. You got an email. One generic email. Oh, your student was put in ISS. No reason, no name, no signature. These guys need to get to class. And I've got a class, and she needs to get to class, and I have a class I need. That's cool, because you were five minutes late anyways, so that's cool. So, what we've agreed on, if her stuff is out, you're going to take it. Yes, if there's a problem, I'm going to be contacted. Yes, I'm sick and tired of playing these games. It is absolutely absurd that grown men can't deal with a 15-year-old child and nobody else has the problem but you. 